I'm glad we started out the week really kind of like easing into it weather-wise with that time change. Whew. Slowly warming up and then the yeah. roller coaster all comes down. Oh, Heather, it's a little bit of weather for everyone this week. Today was the, really the pick of the week. Winds were calm. Clouds held off for a majority of the day. We managed to stay dry. You still got about three hours left. Get outside and enjoy it. Very pleasant conditions are expected. Even overnight tonight, we do stay mild. 8 o'clock, it still is 50 degrees out there. An amazing evening. Plenty of sunshine. We stay dry. Winds even stay calm for the remainder of the night tonight. Got to take that dog out, head to the dog park. You have beautiful conditions. Might even be able to pull off the shorts and the short sleeve shirt with that sun setting for the day today. Changes, they are in store. We warm up a bit more for that day tomorrow. This ridge begins to induce that southwesterly flow, which gives us warmer air, and then big changes come by Thursday, where these purple shaded areas really do indicate colder air, which surges towards our region. It's really, as I said, a drop in the roller coaster of temperatures that we do experience for this week. So for the day tomorrow, our first 70 degree day of the year, I should say, of 2023 is in the forecast for the spring. 74 in Pueblo, 73 Canyon City, and you get 70s, maybe even 80s out towards the plains. We'll keep a close eye on uh, re regions like Lamar and Las Animas. One thing I will say, winds do pick up for the evening tomorrow. So you have the morning and the early afternoon. Try and get outside, take advantage of comfortable weather. Big changes, though, will be headed our way. Running a bit late for that first 70 degree day here in the springs. On average, it tends to occur around the end of February. February 23rd is the current average. Obviously, that does change year to year as those days shift. But late February is a safe bet for that first 70 degree day. We're waiting until really the middle of March. Get outside, take advantage of it. Big weather changes headed our way. 36 degrees is our high by Thursday, and Thursday is going to be a fun weather day. We have, some, well, I use fun very loosely. We have some snow in that forecast. It's a unique weather day. That's a better word because 36 degrees will occur around midnight. We get colder and colder and colder throughout the day on Thursday, so it's really a atypical weather day that we will be expecting. As far as precipitation, rain and snow moves towards the region Wednesday overnight during those early Thursday morning hours. This is our in-house guide mo uh, model, and it does want to indicate a bit of snow does reach up towards Monument, the Springs, Pueblo. Other guidance tends to be split. The other thing that we keep a close eye on is how quick does this rain to snow switchover occur? These are the things that do have a big impact on just how much snow we do see. Snow lingers for those morning hours. Remember, it's that March sun. The sun angle is more direct onto the pavement. It's very difficult when it's snowing during the day. It has to be very heavy snow for it to be able to accumulate on those roadways. We have a lot of obstacles with this system that we are forecasting. Here's our current snow map. Two to five inches Canyon City, one to four in Woodland Park. Areas along the mountains, the eastern facing slopes, I think you'll make out pretty well with this storm, even given that rain to snow, the marginal atmosphere profile. Monument, the Palmer Divide, a general one to three inches. I think roads just stay wet. That includes the springs. Pueblo, very uneasy with this trace of two inches. I think this is a lower end event, just given the warm temperatures, the warm day before, the rain to snow type transition. Southern I-25, you'll make out well with this storm as well. A general three to six inches is expected at this moment. Seven day forecast, we get through this Thursday and it is a cold remainder of the extended forecast. St. Patrick's Day on Friday, might be white St. Patrick's Day for many, including you in Woodland Park, Cold temperatures are in that forecast. The other thing I didn't even get to mention, we watch our next system Sunday into that day on Monday. So an active stretch of weather follows the system through Thursday. Get outside, enjoy that day tomorrow. Now don't go anywhere. We've got more news headed your way after the break.